local pastor says a traffic stop by a Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputy sent him to the hospital. But the sheriff's office argues the incident could have ended with a traffic ticket if the pastor had followed instructions. So whom should you believe? News Channel 8's Jeff Patterson. So uh, a $50 million a year football player, a pastor, a fucking crackhead. It don't matter, man. If they black, you going to have problems. Live at the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office now with both sides of the story. Jeff. Good evening. The video you are about to see is difficult to watch in many ways. It shows anger, aggression, and eventually an arrest. But both the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and the pastor involved can't agree on one thing. It didn't have to end the way it did. <laughs> August 29th, a Hillsborough County Sheriff's deputy makes a traffic stop because he believes the driver has an illegal sticker on his Florida license plate. 15 seconds after pulling the driver over, listen to the angry confrontation that happens. I'm going to give you about 0.2 seconds to explain to me what you pulled me over for because I have not committed any traffic violation. Wow. The tag. <laughs> and we're told, that, we're told that the top. I was told when I was a kid, put your stand on the steering wheel and get the cop your yes sir, no sir. We haven't seen one video where Sun Man has done all that shit that they say is in the talk. Not one. Uh, I mean, I distinctly remember getting this talk as a child from my father. So, like, I, it's not it's hardly unique to some people. And in fact, as we ever have observed here, they are the ones who do it the least in reality. They never do it. Right. I mean, I'm you know, doing some <laughs> grace here, but he's a pastor. If you never do it, then you do it the least. <laughs> Just that Tyreek Hill energy. Son's always had like. Every pastor of the son is like a pimp. That's what they, that's what they make it into. Like, they don't. They can't be like a normal pastor. They gotta like bring that that sun shit, and they, they low key yeah. just become pimps. Yeah, they, I, would they got... push, I would push back on that. There is some gliders that be pimping too. Like they pimp the system too. Uh, pastors. Oh yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. That, um, that, that's that's a hustle. That's a hustle. That's just a, a hustle. The Catholic, the Catholic priests, they do. They 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 pimp the little boys. I mean, it's. It, the Vatican is I, incredibly wealthy. I think the energy, <laughs> though, I think the energy of a black pastor is a little different than a white pastor. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, I agree. It's just, it's just a, 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 this is a black man doing it. And then in other cases, it's a white man doing it. So that, it, you know, it's just, it's just basically what it is. This is a black guy playing that pastor role. You, that's a, you can't have that design. The driver of the car is Pastor Carl Soto one of the founders of Black Lives Matter in this area. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. <laughs> that cop uh, had a bad, bad look at the draw here. Who's this Hebrew in the back here? Looks like a Hebrew son. Yo, Black Lives Matter is inherently against God. Like, the fact that, like, all all lives matter is, is, is God. But Black Lives Matter is ungodly. Just no, they don't one to my child. Yeah, that's that's not that. <laughs> I'm a third year law student. This is not something you want to do. I'm just here to see my license, shirt. Please. Third year, year law student. Pastor Soto and Deputy Alex Almagar speak to each other. There is hostility. Pastor Soto says at this moment he felt both fear and anger. The moment he was being confrontational with me. I knew that the reason for the stop one was unlawful. From the start, the deputy tells he got that Soto he has that a race hustler on his license plate. This is the sticker of a joker covering part of the tag. So you're a pastor and you have this is your license. <laughs> that is curious. Dude, they're fucking children. They're literally fucking kids, dude. Bro, he give he giving me Dr. Umar energy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hundred percent. He's like Dr. Umar mixed with Michael Eric Dyson. Oh, to, um, Steve S, man, Steve S, Op Nation Hall of Famer, coming through once again. Shout out to Steve S. Shout out to Deluxe Two Four Seven, aka Cal Ripken, aka Real MVP, coming through once again. This is just um, 
I, I feel like we got another twist coming before this story's over. <laughs> I just feel it coming. That the reason for the stop one was unlawful. From the start, the deputy tells Pastor Soto he has an illegal sticker on his license plate. This is the sticker of a joker covering part of the tag. Pastor Soto admits to being frustrated. Was annoyed that he followed me for three miles. He followed me. He was telling me extremely close. Seconds after pulling him over, the deputy opens Soto's door and pulls out his taser. Four minutes after the initial stop, he puts the pastor in cuffs. So you're doing this over a tag? Okay. A okay. You just lost your job. The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office says the deputy did. Wow. You just lost your job. Yeah. The authority. Like a woman. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, he knows. I mean, he knows the power he has. He, he He's the leader of Black Lives Matter down there. He knows he can mobilize uh, 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 a, a mob. Klingon <laughs> to fuck it up. Yeah, salute to um, Eric S. He says, just playing. I'm 6'3", son, man. I have prognathism. Mom could pass for a mulatto. Dad, dark. I wondered about the shape of my head growing up. Now I know, watching this channel, it's prognathism. It's prognathism. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout out to Eric S. I didn't know Eric S. was a... Um, was a was a was a was a was a, was a, a half um mulatto Melungeon son man type type embrace your Melungeon <laughs> heritage it's a uh, yeah, great one fourth, one fourth Melungeon yeah exactly it's hard to tell what he is but he's got Melungeon some Melungeon power I thought you were a glider he donates every show so I was like I was like I was like they gotta be a glider <laughs> <He's> <laughs> damn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, salute to him, man. Nothing wrong. And that Pastor Soto could have driven away with just a traffic ticket if he had given the deputy his driver's license. But unfortunately, no, Mr. Soto's actions happen. led to this being escalated and this resulting and ending in a very different way. Can you just... The Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office maintains that this deputy made a lawful request to see the pastor's driver's license. And in the video, you can see the pastor show his license to the deputy, but he takes it back when the deputy tries to take that license in his hand. Uh, both, again, the Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office and the pastor say this could have ended differently than it did. Paolo? Yeah, Jeff, that's incredible video. And just to be clear... Mm, 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 mm. I mean, one could argue that uh, a Black Lives Matter pastor that is decked out in all Black Lives Matter attire while driving, you know, might want to have had that situation escalate. True. But I, I think this was organic. This this one looked organic. It didn't look like because if the guy followed him for three miles and if the guy, you know, what I'm saying like that, that reaction is how he would have reacted, even if he was like. Mm -hmm. just a regular son man you know what i mean you can't really divide nothing from the fact that he's a black lives battle leader <laughs> beaverton police have recovered melissa jubain's